There's something so unique about what Dan Brown has created here in this Robert Langdon character and the kinds of mystery predicaments that he puts him in that is A, incredibly original, uh, B, thought-provoking, and C, on a filmic level, irresistible. And so when I had the opportunity to go on with the Robert Langdon character, uh, I, I really, you know, I, I couldn't imagine not going further with it. Well, Tom loves movies, and he has a lot of respect for audiences. And uh, it, as, as excited as he was to capture the truth behind Apollo 13 and entertain through um, sort of recounting the experience for, for film audiences, and as much as he trusted that, he takes equal pleasure in bringing this Dan Brown adventuresome world to the screen through his Robert Langdon character. And, um, and it's, it's, he has a lot of fun, and yet he does always talk about playing fair with the audience and uh, um, you know, imagining himself watching the film and not wanting to feel um, cheated or tricked. Uh, and he's a great collaborator. You know, it's, Tom has reached a point in his career where he's proven himself, you know, not only as a two-time Academy Award winning actor, and I don't know how many nominations, uh, but, uh, you know, he's a wonderful producer. He's, a, he's an excellent director. He's a fine writer. And, and so, uh, you know, one of the things that I like to do, while he's very respectful to me as the director of the film, is I'm constantly trying to engage Tom on a, on a, on a broad, comprehensive uh, level because he's a, you know, he's a, he's a fine filmmaker, a very creative guy. Ewan McGregor is one of these actors that I've, I've admired for a long time. I've always wanted to work with. Um, he, he certainly didn't come in and, and audition. I felt we were very lucky to get him. Uh, but I did have a chance to meet him. He came in for our conversation and uh, he had his motorcycle leathers on and he just finished a long, a long bike ride. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and I, I um, you know, he, he had really liked the book and was excited about delving into this, this world of the, the Vatican and what you see behind the curtain. Um, that, that's something as eventful and significant as Conclave. Um, he did a great job, and I knew that, that you know, all the scenes between Ewan McGregor and Tom Hanks would be supercharged in a, in a particular way, and they are. And they're, they're, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was good. Those were, those were good fun days work, working with those two in the same scenes. So.